stainless bolts. What do you know? Yeah, and these are usually aluminum. Got an aluminum bucket down there. That's scrap, and these are probably steel. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much the first time my scrap hatchet has actually worked. Put that loose. Nice big chunk of aluminum right here. Classic hard anodized. Dirty stainless that goes in there. This is going to make a mess. So I'm going to be uh, teaming up with a guy who also lives in Wisconsin. He contacted me. And he wants to collaborate on a video. And the reason is because he knows what to do with silver contact switches. And he can send me the pure silver powder so I can melt it. So, I told him how much silver contacts I had. I didn't think it was very much, and he said it was a okay amount. So what I gotta do is I've got some breakers here. I wanna kinda add to my amount. Uh, so far I haven't found any contact switches in here. I see one right there. And one right there. Man. It's going to be a lot of work as he said one of the things he needs me to do is clean off as much as the uh, of, as much of the waste metal as I can. Which is going to be tough. Okay, this piece is actually copper, and so is this. This is my jar of contact switches, and I got to go through and trim them all. Try to get as much of the non-silver metal off of there. So that's going to that's be a pain. Yeah, so the plan is I'm going to send him the contact switches and then he's going to do his deal, show everybody how you get the silver out of the contact switches and then he's going to send it back to me and I'm going to melt it. Hmm. Let's 
see what this is. That looks like red brass to me. Nice brass actually. I wish you could see that. It's hard to tell if that's brass or copper. It looks like red brass. brass. I think it'll be cool to see what the process is for um, getting silver out of silver contacts. I get the feeling a lot of scrappers think that they're just sitting on precious metals gold because they have silver contacts. And if you don't know how to get the silver out of her, it's not going to do you much good. I see people are selling silver contacts online. So I guess you could do that. And just so you know, it looks like people are overpaying for them. So may be able to make some money. There are people out there that don't really know what they're doing. Here you go, more brass. Tell you what. I'm kind of surprised. There is a lot of brass in these things. Or metal. More than I thought. Yeah, that brass piece just pops, snaps right off. <clears throat> Okay, so there's a contact switch I missed. There's another one I missed. What I'm going to be working on today, I'm going to continue working on what I was working on last night. I had all of these silver contacts and I was trimming off all the metal so they could be just contact. Right here you can see that these need to be done as well because there's a lot of other metal. But I need to get those off. What I'm going to try to do is sweat those off today. I don't think it's probably going to work too well because a lot of them are what I'm going to call button stamped on the back side. So I'm probably not going to be able to do it. On some of these ones that are just flat, I might be able to sweat those off. And these, that's a big chunk of brass right there. So I want to try to get that contact switch off of there and save that brass. Let's see if we're going to be able to get any of these off.
Wow, all right. As you can see, it worked. Um, it took longer than I thought it was going to take, but we were able to get it. And now what's left here is a, is a big chunk of brass. How about these really big ones? This is one that I'm really curious about. not gonna work which is unfortunate because that's a big chunk of brass don't know any way to get that off of there Here's some different ones. They're more flat. <clears throat> Be nice if these would come off. Well, when it gave, it gave fast. So, there's that piece right there. Nice contact. So this is good. This will go with all my other pieces of brass. Here's a here's a double ender right here. This has a contact switch on both ends. Huh. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. So what I'm gonna have to do is just cut these off. Won't be able to sweat them off. Have to send it to them that way. I wish I could sweat those off of there, but... <sighs> One of them I was able to do it. I don't know why I can't do it on all of them. I'll show you another one that's just like this one. Similar to this, where you the buttons crimped on the back side of it this one isn't exactly the same I can't find another one but anyway the silver piece is just on the top it's not the whole button there we go just like that no good way to do it slowly they just go flying that's pretty much what you're left with and it's going to be all copper and brass so i'm going to melt all these together here's another one that's similar to it so we'll see if we could do this one No telling where that one went, so... Oh. Can't win. I'm all 
all done with these now. I get an idea of how much I'm going to be sending them. Okay, so after cutting everything off, it's only, it's not even a pound, 0 0.76 pounds. I can't imagine. And then there's still other metal, so it might be a half a pound. I don't know. I don't know how much metal can come from that. How much silver. that was going to happen. At the very least what it's going to do is give everybody an idea of how many silver contacts it's going to take to add up to anything. Which then you can decide whether it's worth it to be saving them. I mean if you're not going to be coming across a whole bunch of them then it's probably not going to be worth it. But totally your call. I'm just trying to get the information. I gotta find a way.